Okay, so a quick video on this gravel and resin. The gravel comes in bags. This is the clean gravel. This is our second day. We throw it in the mixer first, and we mix it with water. And then we dump it out. You get all this chalky, white trash that comes out of pretty much every five gallon bucket. It's just a mess. It's a lot of labor. So once they dump it out, we put it in this, uh, like a strainer or sieve, and wash it again, rake it back and forth and get all the whatever's left, whatever fines, whatever dirt is left in there, we get it out. And then we'll dump this over there and spread it out to dry. It takes about a full day to dry fully. So again, we start the process, we throw about a five gallon bucket in the mixer, we add water, we mix it, so it really agitates it, it's basically like a, like a washing machine. It takes a lot of the manual labor out for us. And we sieve it, drain it, wash it again, and then they dump it. And spread it and let it dry. So this process is it's more expensive than concrete because it's so labor intensive. If people ask, well what's the what's the advantage of it? The advantage is it's permeable, so the rain goes straight through it, you don't have any drainage issues, and it doesn't count against you on your on your permitting because it's permeable, not not impervious. It's pervious or, or permeable. And it's just a neat look. People like gravel. It's not as hot as concrete. The heat dissipates well in the joints. So anyway, after we after we uh, after we dry it, we've got a fan here trying to dry it. It's about 96 degrees today in the shade, so it's probably 105, 110 out here. We buy this, it's called Gravel Lock. It's like, it's like $800 per container. So it's several thousand dollars just for the, it's about three to 4,000 for this job, just for the, just for the resin. So this is a sample. It's got a little dirt on the top. That's from the, the trowel. We use an old trowel. We gotta go buy all brand new trowels every time we do this. So the actual finished product won't have this rust color on it. But uh, it's only been sitting here for about an hour and it's, it's really set up nicely. It takes 24 hours until it sets up solid. And then you're good to go. Then you roll it after you, after you mix it, spread it, screed it, you roll it with another coat. So it's actually gonna go on the patio back here. The base that we use is a uh, 57 stone base. So this also is, is uh, permeable, obviously. 57 stone has a 40% void ratio. So the rain goes straight through this stuff. And the reason we chose this product here is because they've had a lot of water coming off this hill. And there's a drainage easement back here. So we wanted to permanently alleviate all their drainage issues. Put in new new sliding glass door. And all of our downspouts have these three-way rain lids. And uh, they filter out all the all the trash that comes in from the top. This should be really nice. Two full days of washing. It's like a day of excavation and grading. About a day of getting all the 57 stone and the plastic edge restraint in. Then three, day three, day four is washing. And day five and day six is mixing the resin and putting it in. It's about a six day job. And if we did just concrete, it would be more like two days. So that's why it costs more than concrete. 